All right, so let's look at this question here where we're asked to find the pressure in a closed tube, all right? So here we see that water fills the tube shown below. So here's the diagram that I sketched out that goes for this problem. What is the pressure at the top of the closed tube? So looking at this diagram here, right? So we have a, a U-shaped tube um, in which we've got uh, a fluid where the problem tells us that the fluid is water. Um, and we want to calculate pressure at the top of the closed tube, all right? So um, you might think, all right, so we're trying to calculate pressure. We know two formulas for pressure, right? Pressure is force over area, and we know that pressure is P naught plus rho GH, right? Hydrostatic pressure formula. All right, so looking at this, um, we don't know anything about what's going on here with forces, right? So that's not going to be useful for us. Uh, so we want to use the hydrostatic pressure formula, right? So we're assuming that this tube is done filling water, that the fluid is stationary. Um, so using the hydrostatic pressure formula, all right, so looking at the right-hand side here, since we want to find the pressure at the, the, uh, at the closed tube, well, the problem is here, we don't know what the P naught term is. We do not know the pressure at the surface of the liquid because at the surface of the liquid is the, the cap for the tube. So it's not open up to the atmosphere, so it won't have atmospheric pressure. We don't have any information to compute what that pressure term would be. So we'll have to take a different approach here. What's interesting is, well, the left-hand side here, where the column of uh, water is open to the atmosphere, we do know that up top here, P naught is the atmospheric pressure. So what we can do here is since we have learned if this, uh, if the water is still, then any horizontal line that we sketch out is gonna have the same pressure value. So the pressure at the top of the closed tube, you draw a dotted line over, is gonna be the same value as the pressure at that location there. So we're gonna compute the pressure at that location. So in doing that, we have the pressure there is equal to P naught, which we said is atmospheric pressure, plus rho, so this is the density of our, our, our liquid, which is water, G, times the depth from the uh, surface of that liquid. So since we're looking at the point here on the left-hand side, the depth, well, we're told that the depth to the bottom of the tube is 100 centimeters. Um, and we know from the right-hand side that that height is 40 centimeters, so that leaves us with 60 centimeters for our height. Um, so we'll plug that in in a moment. So plugging in what we know, right? So kind of, actually let me write it down here just because I have more room. So pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure. All right, so atmospheric pressure is 1.013 times 10 to the 5 pascals. We add to that density of water. It's 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. G, 10 meters per second squared. Uh, I think I used 9.8 in my calculation. Again, not like me, but let's go with it. And then we have 60 centimeters. Careful. Centimeters. And we're dealing with meters in other places, right? So we have to convert that to meters, so 0 0.6 meters. Right. That's probably the, one of the easiest places to, to make a, a, a simple error here. All right, so then computing that, plugging and chugging in our calculator, how many sig figs? We have no idea. Great, okay. So we'll go with three sig figs here, 1.07 times 10 to the fifth pascal. Um, I say we have no idea just because I kind of wrote down 100 centimeters and 40 centimeters. We'll assume, I'll, I'll just round to three sig figs. Uh, on a test, I'll be a little bit more precise about it. And looking at this, um, this is actually, if we had converted to atmospheres, you don't have to, but this is actually 1.06 atmospheres, right? So a little bit larger than atmospheric pressure, which kind of makes sense because We've just only have uh, 60 centimeters of, of water here for the depth. 